At 10, a tow truck driver is injured after police say a driver failed to follow the state's move over law. This is not the first time this law has been violated in recent months and years. Since then, police have been urging drivers to pay extra attention to their surroundings. It has probably happened to many of you having to pull over on the highway, whether you are your everyday driver or a tow truck driver. But pulling over can be dangerous. AAA did a survey that reports nearly half of drivers who admit that they don't comply with move over laws think their actions are not dangerous. Connecticut's move over law states drivers must slow down and move over, leaving one lane between your vehicle and first responders or road crews. But too many times that law is not followed. I just look at it, it's just people just don't care. The most recent incident was Friday night shortly before 945 on I-291 westbound in Manchester. Police say a Manchester man pulled over to the side of the highway, wore reflective gear and activated the emergency lights on his vehicle. Another car suddenly hits the man. Police added luckily this man suffered minor injuries to his back and the driver at fault had no injuries but was handed a ticket. But sometimes instances like these do not always come with a lucky outcome. In 1995, uh, while working in Greenwich, I was struck in a work zone by a drunk driver. Although I live in severe pain every moment of my life, uh, I'm an extremely lucky. It was just in May of this year when 38-year-old Christopher Russell, a tow truck driver, was hit and killed by a driver who did not move over. Russell was the second Connecticut tow driver killed on the roadside in the past three years. I'm angry about the whole situation. It's something that could have been easily avoided, and uh, unfortunately it's not. In 2020, 58-year-old Corey Iodice, also a tow truck driver, was hit and killed by 48-year-old Dean Robert. Robert was sentenced in June of this year to 10 years in prison. Nobody wins. Everybody, you know, there's tragedy for everybody involved in something like this. Since the passing of Corey Iodice's family started a nationwide initiative called Flagman, whose missions include pilot safety programs and K-12 education outreach.